guys, I'm Lisa from the Chocolate Carousel. Thanks for joining me today live at lunchtime. We're making bunny butts. I get very excited about these things. I love Easter time. The chocolates and desserts are just so fun and festive and springy. It makes you feel good through and through. So what can make you feel better than a bunny butt? And we make a lot of different things bunny butts. We make bunny butt pretzels, we make bunny butt cupcakes, we make bunny butt cakes. So bunny butts are all over the place this time of year. So let's start talking about how we're gonna put these pretzels together. These are really great because they're combining a bunch of fantastic things together. Pretzel, caramel, and chocolate. Yummy yum. So I've got, um, you're gonna use the three ring pretzel, traditional pretzel. I like a salty pretzel, so I use these sourdough specials because they're nice and salty and crispy and really good. And we're gonna put some caramel on those. So I have some caramel that I heated up. I'm just gonna use a spoon and just kind of spoon it on. There's not really a technique for this. Just wanna get some caramel on each pretzel. So do that first and I'll show you how we'll kind of spread it out. A word of caution to you when you're working with melted caramel, do not let it touch your skin. You'll find out very quickly if it does because it sticks to you and you can't get it off and it's really hot. So, a little word of warning, you don't want it to touch your skin. All right, so a little bit of caramel on each of these pretzels. This is sort of my own little personal touch to this recipe because I think the caramel and the pretzel go so well together. And I'm just gonna use an offset spatula to get that caramel just spread out, kind of fill the holes of the pretzel with it. Need a little bit more on that one to fill it up. If you need more, just go back and get some more. Just get it filled in. Are you guys making your Easter plans? Getting your Easter bonnets ready? Everybody gets excited this time of year. All right, so I got my caramel on the pretzels. I want those to set up a little bit, so I'm gonna pop them in the fridge for just a minute to let that caramel harden. While that's happening, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make the feet. Let me put one out here so you can see what the finished product looks like. So for the feet, I'm gonna use fondant to cut the little pads of the bunny foot. So I got some pink fondant here. I mixed the pink with some white just to lighten it up a little bit because I want it to be a really pretty pastel-y pink, springy color. And you always need, start by kneading your fondant, get it soft and warm so that it works well for you. Nancy says hi. Hi, Very Nancy. excited about bunny butts. Bunny butts are great. Bunny butts are the best. Mom's here too. Oh, my mom. Can always count on my mom. If you can't count on your mom, who can you count on? All right, so let me put some of this fondant down. I put a little bit of confectioner sugar on my mat just so I don't have any sticking, and I'm gonna roll that out. You wanna roll these pretty thin, because remember, these are just gonna stick uh, down for the pads of the feet on these bunny butts, so you don't need a thick piece of fondant, nice and thin. And we're making six, so I need to cut 12 little pads out, right? Because every bunny butt needs two feet. So I'm using a heart cutter for this. This one has like a scalloped edge or a smooth edge. You can go either way, whatever you like. I like the scalloped edge just because I think it's fun. And I'm gonna cut out 12 of these little guys and get them right here on my pan. This is fun too if you're a beginner working with fondant. This is sort of an easy little way to incorporate fondant into into your art. Erica's with us. Hi Erica, welcome. Happy spring. It feels like spring today, so it just helps all the way around. That one I left behind here. Alright, two more. Okay. Once you get those cut out, I'm gonna just get my fondant put aside. We don't need that anymore. Uh, we're gonna pipe the little feet. And we do that using white chocolate and a pastry bag or a Ziploc bag that you cut the end off of. By the way, 
never eat a, a whole pretzel because there's too many fun things you can do with it, but you can eat the broken ones. Just, just passing that little bit of advice over to you guys. All right, pastry bag, I'm folding it down. I'm gonna fill it up with some melted white chocolate that I have here. We're gonna use this both to cover the pretzel and to make the fake. So I get a little bit in my bag. And this is similar to what we did last week when we were working on the little, the cake where the bunny sunk into the egg patch. We had to make feet for that one too. So you're gonna just pipe onto your tray in ovals. And those are gonna be your sets of feet. So I always like to go kind of side by side with two. So I get two that are fairly close to being the same size. And you want to work with this chocolate while it's soft. So you want to have a pretty good flow here. You don't want to take too much time because it'll harden up pretty quickly. So you need six sets of feet. Using these little candy pearls, and I have them in the same color pink as my fondant. I'm gonna use those for, I don't know, are they toes, Russ? What are bunnies, do bunnies have toes? Somebody needs to Google this. They have toes. They have toes? Gotta have toes. All right, these are for the bunny toes. I'm gonna put three of them. They have the little pads underneath the tootsies. paws. Tootsies. Under his tootsies. Bunny tootsies. And there we go. And makes his little feet. Too cute. You don't really need to push these down. Just kind of drop them where you want them. They'll stick right into the chocolate. Okay, let's sweat with these. Switch it up. All right, so if you do this while it's wet, makes the, the project a lot easier. If your chocolate happens to dry before you get here, then you're gonna need to use a little bit of melted chocolate to stick down the pieces. These are great little filler in an Easter basket too. They're really cute. And if you want your bunny to be brown, you can do it with milk chocolate. It doesn't have to be white chocolate. This is like the one time a year though that I like white chocolate. I look forward to it. I like it at Easter time. I don't know why that is. I would typically go for the dark, but at Easter time, it's kind of nice to have white chocolate. And it's pretty popular around here too. We sell a lot of white bunnies. We sell a lot of tie-dye bunnies, which are made with white chocolate. Those are really fun, really funky. All right, so I got my feet all done. Oh gosh, got the wrong way there. There we go. And those are gonna go and set up in the fridge for a second. I'm gonna pull out the pretzels because they're ready to come out and get dipped. This music we got going today. Yes. My mom was just in New Orleans. Maybe this is a little, you know, not jazz for that. Okay, so there they are. The caramel hardened. And they'll pop right off, and they're filled nicely with the caramel, which is great. Look on this side. Cute. I take any excess off if you have a little bit of overage. You can get rid of that. And these guys are going to get dipped into the chocolate. But before we do, we're going to make the tails using mini marshmallows for the tails. So, roll them into balls. We need six tails. We don't want little square tails, so we're just going to roll these into little balls.
look, and this is the, your, uh, your excuse to be like, oh, I wonder if these are good. Oh, yes, they are. Who doesn't love a mini marshmallow? Want one, Russ? Sure. Here you go. I'll share. I'm a sharer. Okay, so I got my tails rolled out. They're ready to go. Part of the prep is having those ready because, again, we want to work with the chocolate while it's melted, so we want to have all of our things ready. I also have some desiccated coconut, finely shredded uh, coconut white with a little bit of sugar added to it. So that's going to go on to give him a little bit of fur. So now, down he goes into the chocolate. Sink him in. Dip him and drip him. Dip and drip, guys. And then right back onto your tray. Get these guys all dipped. This is a dipping uh, fork that I'm using. You can use something like this or you can just use a regular kitchen fork that you have. Can melt your chocolate in the microwave. If you do, you want to use a half power or a low uh, power setting like defrost to do so so your chocolate doesn't scorch. Oh, we lost them. We got to get them again. Dip and drip. Um, Chocolate is very sensitive, so you don't want to overheat. So always going low and slow, one minute at a time until it melts. Patience is a virtue, and it will get you there without burning your chocolate. So definitely low and slow when you're melting chocolate. Two more to dip. to use coconut on these so if you're not a fan of coconut just skip that part I like this coconut because it's finely shredded so it's it's really nice all right <clears throat> I'm gonna give them their tails you want the tail part to go on the flat part of the pretzel not the rounded part the rounded parts where the feet are gonna go uh, my pretzel's going in different directions here, so you got to pay attention to that. Give it a little sprinkle with the coconut. All right, and now I'm going to grab those feet out. And we're going to attach the feet. There they are, ready to go. And I'm using the pastry bag that I had from before. Just make sure if you have any dry chocolate that hardened in the tip, you get rid of that to get it flowing. And just using a little bit of chocolate at the back. You're gonna attach these right there. It's great if they come together like that. That was like inadvertent, but awesome. Maybe that's the way to do it. Some of mine are together, some of mine are separate, but you can do it a little quicker if you get them to come together. Whoops, this one's gotta go this way. Cute. And yummy at the same time. One more bunny butt. Really simple, really fun project, and these are adorable. So we get this tray out of the way, I'll show you the finished product. These are gonna pop back into the fridge. Give them another two or three minutes in there for the chocolate to set up. And when they're all done, this is what they look like. Break one open to show you inside. You get the pretzel, the caramel all flowing throughout there, the white chocolate, the coconut, 
These are really good. And of course that little bit of marshmallow tail there in the middle. Yum. These are great. Make yourself a cup of tea and eat a couple of these. I'm telling you, it's the way to go. So those are our uh, chocolate pretzel caramel bunny butts. Using the same principle, you can make bunny butts onto a, the, a cupcake for a class or on a cake. Really fun, just a creative way to kind of have some Easter fun with your desserts. So I want to thank you guys for joining me on live. I got my April schedule right here. Uh, we have a cupcake pull apart class this Friday, which was unfortunately sold out. Um, we have a wait list going for that. And then uh, wine and chocolate night, you guys gotta come. April 19th, super fun. We're gonna make three or four different kinds of chocolates, all with a spring theme. You'll eat along the way, have some wine, enjoy some time with your friends, and you get to bring the chocolate home at the end. So definitely come out for that. Our next Sweet Tooth Saturday, April 22nd, all you can eat, cake filling and frosting from four to six for just six bucks. It's the best deal in town. You can walk in for Sweet Tooth Saturday or sign up on our website under events. And we have our challenge coming up at the end of the month. I think there's still room for one team. Uh, three teams are already signed up. So if you have a team of four and you want to come compete and have some fun in a fast paced environment, you do not need to know what you're doing. We're going to get you there. Come join us for our challenge at the end of the month. That's April 29th. So thanks again for joining me on live. I hope you guys have a great week. Enjoy the spring day and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.